Hello everyone, so my name is Kim and we are joining Paula Tricia Toquero for her interview proper with regards teenagers, like concerns about teenagers. So I'm 25 years old, so I'm not a teenager by the way, I'm already an adult, but uh, we are joining the interview because uh, we already uh, experienced or we have the experience with teenagers as well. So. Before we start, I want to provide a disclaimer that uh, all of my answers here is actually based on personal opinions only, okay? So everyone has uh, different answers about it. So let's start. So the first question I received is that what are the changes in your lifestyle as a teenager? So that naman tayo is, uh, so everything changed when we started uh, this generation of our age so uh, from our childhood so uh, from that day palaro laro so for me so there's actually a lot of changes like uh, being interested or less interested about uh, those games like that okay because uh, we already have some curio curiosities okay or we are already curious about uh, life already or being an adult so we are there actually to discover some things okay so that's actually a great change in our lifestyle so halimbawa na lang is that uh, for me as a teenager doon natin nasubukang magbisyo right so we already engaged in some sort of vices uminom like that liquor cigarette that one okay and then after that we are interested in, in entering relationships as well no so that's actually not just physical or not, not just a uh, mental concerns about teenagers but that's already physical changes like meron na yung na, na trigger na hormones sa atin okay so nagiging curious tayo about relationships so doon na tayo nagsisipo ng maging marupok hmm. So, that's it. So, those are the major changes that I encountered as a teenager. Then, uh, I can see here, this is actually personal-based uh, opinion, actually. So, this is a third question. So, what's my opinion about same-sex marriage? Okay. So, uh, this issue is uh, already a uh, big issue already. When we are teenager, not that big but we have an opinion about it okay so for me I'm against I'm against same-sex marriage okay so with regards to this one I believe uh, for myself that marriage is actually a unity of man and woman only that's it okay I cannot call it marriage just in case that's actually man being married to a man or if not a woman Married to a woman? No. That's not marriage for me. Hi and good day to everyone. I was tasked to briefly express my stand about the topic, same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage has been a hot issue over the years. It is becoming and being accepted as a norm and a culture in our generation. Legal proceedings and legalistic actions or laws was recognized by many countries to same-sex marriage or relationships. I want to point out that God did not ordain and do not approve of same-sex marriage. Let us be mindful of our Heavenly Father's purpose in His creation. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God, He created him, male and female. He created them. It is very clear that only man and woman was created. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it 
and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 to 28. And in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 it says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. My question is this. How can man to man or woman to woman fulfill the command of God? Other believes that homosexuality is by genes. Ni hindi nga sila makaanak. Dumadami nga sila, pero di naman sila nanganganak. It's not by genes, but by influence. Marriage between a man and a woman was instituted by God and is central to His plan for His children and for the well-being of society. Strong families, guided by a loving father and mother, serve as the fundamental institution for nurturing children, instilling faith, and transmitting to future generation the moral laws, instructions, truths, and spiritual values of God that are important to eternal salvation. Civil laws cannot change the moral law of God. God expects us to uphold and keep His commandments regardless of different opinions or cultures or trends in society. Sexual relations are proper only between a man and a woman who are legally married as husband and wife. Let me read to you what the Bible has to say in Romans chapter 1 verses 18 to 32 and why it is wickedness. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For His invisible attributes, namely His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that has been made. So they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling man and birds and animals and creeping things. Therefore, God gave them up in the last of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie, and worshipped and served the Creator rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty of their error. And since they did not fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind into mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. 
though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die. They not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. First thing, same-sex marriage is not pleasing to God. Second, it is not a good model or example of morality and spirituality for family relationships. Hi, so I was asked about my opinion with regards to teenagers' concern. Mental health, substance abuse, and uh, teenage pregnancy. So let me just go ahead and give you my opinion with this. So teenagers before are much different from teenagers today. So teenagers today are more outgoing, socialized, and open-minded, or I would say liberated. So this may be the result of open media or open social media peers and the environment. Number one is uh, Barcada Superior. This is actually a big factor of teenagers' influence. Uh, number two is the open social media. Teenagers today are occupied with gadgets and they have their favorite media influencers that they tend to follow their clothing their food, and even their actions. Okay, so environment. So this must be the at home. Teenagers who get difficult family situations, parents' absence, and abusive family feel vulnerable that they would find somewhere, something, and someone for comfort and feel at home thus resulting to what were asked. Family is a must, and parents should always find time for their teenage children, listen to them, and give them guidance. And to our teenage children, yes, you are surrounded with a lot that might confuse or influence you. But consider running to your parents first. Have a nice bye.